Good afternoon, FS Global Warfare Channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in just one video for the day. Back to a Monday. What a weekend. Should probably say what a Sunday. A lot of drama in the community yesterday. Not going to talk about it in this video, though. If you know, you know. Well, anyways, in news, we'll be talking about Oxygen David's upcoming map, Court Farms, and we'll also be talking about a Volkswagen Titan coming to the mod hub. Now, a new mod, so it was a slow day, but we finally got the Trek 600s. Plus, a few mods from Giants themselves. Remember, if you are watching this as a premiere or after, to smash that like button. Now, if you're watching this as a premiere, what's up, guys? Let's go for 100 likes. If you're watching this after, let's go for 300 likes in total. Start this week off strong. Well, roll that intro. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to this brand new week. Okay, first of all, let's talk about some news from Farm Sim Gaming. Pretty much all of these mods right here are actually pending. Let's see, you got silo fill information, which will be PC only. What it does is know how close you are to a full silo. You got the lumber storage, which will be PC only. Store your pine, spruce logs, or convert other logs to wood chips. You got the large metal pavilion, which is an update. You will actually have colors. You can expand your farm with many color options. Then we got the Class C low loader, options for a fifth wheel, tractor, and gooseneck pulling. Got the Big Bags cattle pack, ready mix TMR and manual feed in big bag form. Got the Lizard 679 log trailer, a smaller log trailer made for logs. Then you got the Lizard 689 log trailer, a larger log trailer made for logs. Okay, now on to the next piece of news, which is from Agro Mods. They have gradually been working on their Volkswagen Titan 18310. It is now being assembled. There are still lots of parts and adjustments in the 3D, but he's decided to post some of his work. Uh, when it's ready, it will go to the mod up. So it's going to go to the mod up. I just don't know if it's going to be PC only or if it's going to be all platforms. I'm pretty sure if it's going to be all platforms, it's going to have to rename it to probably a lizard. But very excited about seeing where this thing goes. Okay, we got one more piece of news for today. And now this piece of news, well, the last piece of news for today is a huge one. And this is from Oxygen David himself. He had this to say, though. Hi, guys, and welcome to his new map, Court Farms. This map has already been in development for over a year and still is a considerable amount of time to finish it. Here are some key features of the map. Please remember that the map is still a work in progress, so lots will change, and this doesn't represent the final version. This map is a default two times in size and represents the real-life area of Banswell, Somerset, as realistic as he can make it. It includes a DM and also a 3D border, which is taken from real-life satellite data. All the buildings, details, and the 2-kilometer radius have been modeled for the map, and tree placement represents the real tree areas as much as possible. And he put a lot, I mean, a lot of pictures on this. I think there is, what, 76, 77, 78, 70, 79 pictures. Wow, I'm not going to be able to show all these pictures on this video. But, of course, we're rolling through them right now. But some of the key features on this map, around 150 fields and miss uh, missions, small, medium, and large, Five farms, arable, animals, mostly tight, compact farms representing the original farms, over five selling points, will contain some unique placeable production assets for the map, detailed interior farmhouse, BGA forest, uh, let's see, over 200 models created for the map, totally brand new textures and a lot of foliage, linseed and new fruit, custom precision farming, unique custom traffic, each farm will have a clutter remove option. He also said he has posted loads of pictures showing you his progress so far, so be sure to check them all out, which, of course, I'm not going to be able to show them all right here. But I cannot wait for this. He also says he'll be posting another post shortly today with lots more pictures. He'll also be going into much more detail of the first farm on the map, Stonebridge Farm, so be sure to take a look at that later on. Probably tomorrow I'll actually have it in tomorrow's news video. But very excited about this. Okay, so that right there, guys, is all the news for today. Let's go over and take a look at those new mods we got. Welcome to the new mod showcase part of the video. It was a average Monday in the amount of new mods, but we did get that Trex. Today, we got 13 new mods and updates. For all platforms, we got 7 new mods, and that's it. Now, on PC only, we got 1 new map plus 3 new mods. Plus, also on PC only, we got 2 new updates. Well, let's get to it.
Okay, so here we go with the new mods for all platforms. The first five are all Giants software themselves. Okay, the first one we have is the Starrett Imperdor 3.0. 223 horsepower variable CVT, 340 liters of fuel, 26 miles an hour, holds 5,100 liters, 10.1 tons. Uh, let's see, the width is 27 meters and 15 miles an hour is the operating speed. It is $196,000. Will Brand, we got Trailboard. We got Michelin, we got BKT, we got Vritistein. Trailboard, you just got Narrows. I think it's Narrows on pretty much everything. Yeah, it is. And then also, if you're running with Precision Farming, you also have the Isra Pro Compact, which this is, of course, the sensor. Well, yeah, the sensor on it. Where does it put it, actually? Oh, it puts it right up there. And then also right over there, if you can see it, right there. The only thing I wish it did have is actually that uh, the spot, uh, spot spraying. Uh, function that you see some of the other sprayers have. That's the only thing I wish that this thing had. All right, let's go ahead and get this really quick. So let's go right on over here. Um, there it is right there. This was, I believe, what? It came out in, I think it's an FS-17? And it was in FS-19, so now it is also in FS-22. I believe it was out in FS-17. But anyways. Ooh, ladder comes up. You see that? Watch. Look at that. Nice, nice animations. Okay, here is the interior, really nice interior. Let me bring that up real quick. Okay, you got deactivate automatic application rate. Remember, that is only if you're using precision farming. Uh, unfold sprayer. Uh, let me see the lights real quick. One, two, three, three set of lights. We got a beacon on the top right there, and it looks like that is about it. Okay, I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear that engine. Okay, nice engine sounds. Okay, let me move right over here so I can actually spread this thing apart. Okay, there we go. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, let's see. Let's unfold sprayer. You can also open up the cover, which probably opens that up on the top. Oh, okay, that one right there. Look at look how fast that thing is. Look, look at the ladder. It's a nice sprayer though. Okay, and also this thing right here, let's see. It takes dry fertilizer, herbicide, and liquid fertilizer, so it can take whichever one you want. That's why you see that cover right there. Okay, engine stop, turn on crop sensing, so you can turn on your crop sensor. The only, the only problem I always have with that, so when you turn on the crop sensor, you can't really tell if it is on, if you have that one, unless you go back over here where it says turn on crop and turn it off. All right, let's go, let's go ahead and close that. So, if we go right over here, we can fill it. I know it's not going to look like fertilizer, but I'm just going to fill it really quick. So, let's bring it back over here. Okay, right there. And, oh yeah, okay, it does look like fertilizer. There you go. And, yeah, let me actually, let me go right over here. We can turn it on. So, I wonder, okay, if, if, you, if you also put the liquid fertilizer in here. Because I've never actually used this thing. What if you put the liquid fertilizer in here? If you get like a choice between the two, or does it just do both? So let me see. What if we go right? Okay, let me actually get some liquid fertilizer. Um, where are we at? Pallets, liquid fertilizer. Okay, so we got liquid fertilizer over there. Oops. Let me go ahead and close that cover. Let's go right over here. Okay, refill sprayer. Okay, so that is refilling. Okay, that's good. Oops, let, let's just actually fill it all the way up. How do I get rid of that pallet? Okay, there we go. Wow, that's almost perfect amount right there. Okay, so let's change working width on that. Uh, open cover, change nitrogen refer reference value. That's all with the precision. Deactivate, unload. Okay, it doesn't look like, I guess it just picks one and uses it. You're not gonna be able to see it because of course I got precision on. It's got pretty good radius. Okay, come on. Okay, it does take a minute to unfold. Oh, there we go, right there. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like whenever it is completely on. Looks good. Okay, so it actually looks like it uses the liquid first. Because one liter did drop from the liquid. So, yes, okay, there's, there's two. Okay, so it probably uses the liquid first and then uses the dry. Okay, but anyways, guys, that right there is the Stara Imperdor 3.0. Okay, then after that one, we have another new mod from Giant Software. This is the Randon Convero. I probably just butchered that name. Sorry. I'm very, very sorry. But anyways, these are sugar cane trailers, which of course these can also hold, you know, grass, wood chips, looks like straw, silage, hay, stuff like that. We have the Dolly version, which, yeah, you guys know me and Dollies. Uh, this thing holds up to 66,500 liters, 10.6 tons, $93,000. Change the color to any color you want. So if you want to have it as Joe's Purple, you can have it as Joe's Purple. You can also change up the rim colors on that too. Uh, this one is pretty much the regular truck version right here, which this one would be the one I would definitely be using because you guys know me and dollies. Okay, but anyways, that is the Rand done. Then after that, keeping with the theme of sugarcane, we have a new sugarcane planter. This is the TT8022 Driveless from Giant Software. Holds 12,100, 6.8 tons. It does require 200 horsepower, one working meter, so it is going to take a while to plant that field. Seven miles an hour is the operating speed, 61,500. So here it is right here, really nice. Let's see, this doesn't do... Okay, yeah, it does do fertilization on it too. So there we go right there. Then after that one, we have the TT Multi Cultivator 5-in-1. Let's see, 600 liters. This is from Giants themselves. Uh, 600 liters, sorry. 3.2 tons. Does require 240 horsepower. Three working meters. Nine miles an hour is the operating speed, and it's 17,500. This is actually a subsoiler with a fertilizer spreader on the very top right there. Wheel brand, we got Trailborg. We got Vritistine. We got back to Trailborg. There is no wheel setup on that. Then the last new mod from Giants themselves. So this is the TT Big TT from Giant Software. And this is a disc carrier right here. Two tons. Does require 320 horsepower. 4.8 working meters. 11 miles an hour is the operating speed. It is $20,000. Will Brand, we got Trailborg. We got BKT. You got Vredstein. Trailborg, you actually change it from standard over to wide. And then, of course, BKT and Vredstein, you just got the wide tires on that. Okay, and then the next one, everybody has been waiting for this thing right here, especially, especially you, Sam, if you're watching this. But anyways, this is the Lizard Trek 600 from Black Sheep Modding themselves. 1,045 horsepower, wow. Variable CVT, 600 liters of fuel, 12 miles an hour, 9.5 tons, 2.3 working meters. This pretty makes a whole forest go bye-bye in a very quick time. Uh, let's see, it is $190,000. You got forestry, yes or no on that. You got wheel setup, you got standard, you got the magnum, you got the standard. Of course, you're going to go with the magnum. Uh, main color, you got any color you want. So if you wanted to have it as Sam's pink, you can have it as Sam's pink. I know he's going to definitely love that color. That is very bright too. All right, but anyways, let's go back over here. Let's get the forestry and let's get the wheel setup on magnum on that. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in game, which I did do a separate video on this. So if you guys have not taken a look at that, you can also take a look at that. Uh, let's go ahead and get in it. Here is the interior. Ooh, to the door. Oh, that thing comes down. Nice animations. Lights. You got one, two, three, three set of lights, two rotating beacons on the top. Let's go ahead and turn over that engine real quick. Okay, so there is the engine sounds, really nice. As you see, everything does light up in here. Turn signals, everything. And they do an amazing job, don't they? All right, let's go over here and let's make some trees disappear pretty fast. You can also turn on your stump grinder right there. Let's see. So you can move a lot of stuff over here. You can also open up the door. And this is to raise and lower that. Okay, so let's turn it on. Nice animation sounds. This tree right here. Look at that. Bye. Oops. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. Okay, definitely do not let Sam near this thing. If he does, a lot of trees are going to be injured. <laughs> and definitely don't let him near this with the lone oak in sight. Come on. 
Sorry, my driving on this thing is not very good. I'm not used to really doing much forestry. Look at that, though. Seriously. Got, look at that. Area's already cleared out. What did it take about, like, 30 seconds to a minute? Wow. Anyways, guys, that is the Lizard Track 600 from Black Sheep Modding. Love it. Okay, now the next and last new mod for all platforms for today is the Galligini 5690S3, and this is from Game Master. The Galligini brand is a subgroup of the Coverland brand. Price is 35760 on that. Uh, let's see, max working speed is 15 kilometers per hour, which is actually 7 miles an hour. This does require 55 horsepower, 2.7 tons. But something you'll definitely notice on that is it makes 140 centimeter bells. I don't think we actually have anything that makes 140 centimeter bells. So the good question is, if you guys are using this today, let me know in the comment section below if actually like any autoloaders will actually work with this. Uh, especially if the rooster one will. But it looks really good though. Okay, so 140 centimeter bales. Uh, design color, you have any color you want on that. And that is it. So that is all the mods for all platforms for today. I probably would have to say my favorite one is, of course, got to have the Lizard Trek 600. Okay, let's go over those PC only ones now. Okay, welcome to the PC only mods for today. The first one is a brand new map on PC. This is Wester Raiden. This is from Spezzy20 Modding. This is 907.65 megabytes, so it's a little bit big. Uh, welcome to West Array, a genuinely recreated map in the northern style. It is recommended not to accept missions from fields 97 to 122 and not to buy. These fields are for decoration only. But anyways, what does this include? All FS22 features included? Forestry, traffic, cows, pigs, sheep, and chickens, field missions, European style, 50 hectare acres of farmland, 82 fields, 15 meadows, 10 farms, productions, and precision farming supported on that. And here is the PDA on this. As you see, it is a pretty big map, actually. And let me see. Uh, probably the biggest field would probably have this be this field six, which is about $4.2 million. Wow. This section might be bigger than a regular two times map. Uh, mainly because, well, as you see that price right there, that would take a while to harvest right there. It is a really decent map, though. Okay, anyways, that is the new map for today. Let's take a look at those PC-only mods for today. Okay, the first PC-only mod we have for today is the Canal BTW21 Bail Trailer. This is from Rick Black Label. It's $28,000. This is an autoload for 30 round bells on this one. Let's see, you can do color configuration for the rims on that, and you also got tension belts. So, let's see, Nokian Tires, Michelin, Fridistine. Nokian, you have Communal, 560s, and then back to Communal. Uh, Michelin, you got wide tires or the 560s, and then Vridicine, you just got the 560s. And the rim color, you can have any color you want on this. And this does require the Palette Autoload Specialization mod on there. Okay, now the next new mod for PC only is a very interesting one. This is Farmland Auctions from Artruzzi. Let's see, the local auction house has reopened and new farmland will be auctioned. Be advised, since 2013, nearby farmers have improved their skill at auctions. If you want to participate in the next auction, visit the farmland and hit B to place your bid. The auction house ensures everybody that there will be at least one auction per year. If you do not use seasons, there will be an auction a few days apart. This mod supports single player only right now. So let's take a look at the few screenshots real quick. As you see, it says like, you know, a new auction on field 48 ends in less than nine hours and three days. So that's pretty cool how you can actually like, you know, auction off, well, that you can actually, you know, buy farmlands through auctions. Uh, this might be a big game changer mod very, very soon. Love that. And then the last new mod for PC only for today is this one. This is the Manure Fix from Hot Online Team. This mod fixes the manure output of animal husbandries. Without, this mod husbandry produces manure in the amount of straw that is used. So, of course, if you have 80 cows, it produces 7.6 uh, M3 of manure. With this mod, you become the manure amount that an animal is producing. So, like 80 cows would actually give you 16 M3. So, it actually pretty much almost doubles it right there. Okay, but anyways, that is all the new mods for PC. Let's go over those updates. The first update we have for today is for Hobo's Hollow 4X. What changed on this one? Add a custom precision farming soil map and extended planting harvest window for certain crops. Okay, the last update we have for today is the sell price trigger. What changed on this one? Just a fix for 1.4. So that right there is all the new mods and updates for all platforms for PC only. That is everything. 
Let me know which one was your guys' favorite one. I'm probably going to say, of course, still sticking with my Trek 600. But anyways, guys, what's left to go over? That testing list, the first testing list for this week. Let me also know what you guys are excited about in that testing list to hopefully come out this week. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Man, did I actually miss saying that. Anyways, today's schedule is a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thinking of doing some more Stone Valley. I'm kind of hooked on that map. Remember, if you guys did like the video, which I hopefully you guys did, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to it, hit that sub button and ring that bell. We'll see you guys tonight. Peace.